Okay, let's play Street Legal Racing Redline. I got the 2.30 Live Edition patch, which I think it's the last patch, last version of this game. So let's do it. Let's start a new career. Enter player name. <clears throat> well, my name is Fucker. So that's the name that I'm gonna put. Let's choose an adequate face. Okay, the cop guy. I think it's okay. Welcome to Street Legal Racing. Your garage is empty. You can buy cars at the car dealers. Now visit the used car dealer and choose an affordable car to start with. Okay, um, this game has a lot. Um, I mean, this game can be modded a lot. I only have one mod, and that is the car dealership mod, which enlarges the car dealer, so you can choose out from more cars uh, when starting out the game. You'll just see that in a moment, so it's loading up. The loading screen is also different. Press enter to continue. Okay, I'm going to start with well, which I think is the best starter car which is any inline 4 car that you can get for cheap so I'll go with the cheapest car which I think is that Dahan Sunstrip 1.5 well yes we got a cheaper car here but this is a little bit more complete I hope it has the, the full running gear, so I'm gonna buy it. Uh, do you want to buy this piece of shit Dahan Sunstrip 1.5 DVC for $9898? Yes. Yes. You've made the best decision, I'm sure you'll become the most respected street racer in Valo Cities. Okay. Let's see. What we got, yes, complete running gear, which is perfect, so I don't have to buy any tires or shocks or spring or strut bars. Here we have the stock engine, which we'll see just in a moment how much horsepower. 126 horsepower, okay. With 126 horsepower, you can't do anything, really. So we'll get the engine out and we'll sell it. Yes, $1,640, of course. Now we'll buy a new engine, and this is my recommendation, just sell out the engine and get the engine kit for the Shimitsu Foser uh, Shimu Chibi, Shimu Chibu, Shimu Chibu Foser WRC engine kit, 498 engine kit for the Foser, sure we'll get that, and you'll see just in a moment. We have now, instead of 126 horsepower, we have 498 horsepower. Now with just one simple modification, we can get it over 500 horsepower. You press the tuning, fine-tune specific parts, you go to the turbocharger, and you go right up to the most of the wastegate pressure, which gives 29.35 psi pressure per inch square and that is a lot of pressure for a turbo and now let's see the horsepower 589 horsepower that's an incredible change and we still got eight thousand dollars left so you guessed that right we're gonna sell nitrous oxide so first modification is go to the SL tuners 4 channel ported N2O system and we'll give it 390 359 uh, pounds per hour that is a lot of nitrous oxide going in and now we have to buy if we don't have yet no we do not have we have to buy the, the bottles of nitrous so inline 4 performance 96 pounds nos canister yes and we'll get the pressure gauge or gauge you see install it right there now install the, the gauge and that's it we're up for some testing. Let's test the car at the track. See how much time we do for a quarter mile. As you can see, the chassis is all fucked up and so are the wheels. But we don't care because we have a new engine with over 500 horsepower, which 
should be an easy win for the start, starting races. Then we can sell our car and go on to a bigger car with a 96 engine, but it'll do for now. Actually, this is not the first time I play the game and I have won the game with just an inline 4 car. But well, you need more money to get a better, better engine setup, so let's try now the acceleration of our starter car. Go straight ahead to time the acceleration of the car. We'll go with the nitrous oxide also. So one, two, three, go. Okay, 4.146, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, or 0 to 60 miles per hour. And one quarter mile time, 11.358 seconds, which is very good for a starter car. Usually you go with a starter car you do 14 seconds or 13, 12.5 I think was the best stock car that I bought of the dealership. And now we're getting an 11.3 second car. Okay, back to garage. Let's check out to see how much it will cost to fix up the whole car. 6,000, no way. And we'll go straight up to a quarter inch mile drag race at night. So off to the city. Some racing, let's do some racing and let's finish the first episode of Let's Play Street Legal Racing Redline SLRR. Welcome to Valo City. At night, the racing community gathers to arrange drag races for high prices, even for pink slips. You can find them at the location marked with a green flag to race or just to watch others race. Okay, let's go. I can see the green flag there on my minimap. So let's go. You can see the car has, I think, the gears a little bit fucked up, so we should tune on that later on. But right now, let's just do a quick couple of races. You can see on the top screen you have 89 slash 247 which I think it's an average of the prestige I have. You don't know the game manages with prestige which you gain upon winning races. The higher prestige the more people you can race during daytime and the, more pe um, the better people you can race at nighttime. So let's participate in a race. Okay, I got the Buck Ironhead with the Einwagen 110 GT and Shane Phoenix with the Einwagen 110 GTK. Let's go with the 19th place. Currently we're in the 20th place of the Green Sleep Club, which is the first club. There are three clubs, the best I think is the red. So it's green, blue, red. Well, let's see how we do on this race. Let's go no nitrous. I think we can beat it, yes. You see, the guy is way behind me, and this is a starter car, and I only spent $24,000 of the $30,000 that you started with. So, I got a great engine, a fucked up chases, which doesn't affect the gameplay at all. It's just, you get a nasty minimap of the car. And I did 12.9. 12.9 seconds versus almost 17 seconds, so that's almost 4 seconds of difference, which is amazing. It's a great quantity, and let's do another race. Well, we already have $10,000, so we can upgrade the car a bit more later on, or maybe change it. If you press 2 while driving, your car will reset itself to the middle of the track, so you can avoid crashes. This game is very realistic in terms of crashes. If you crash, you will lose body parts, you can even lose the engine. And imagine losing the engine is losing $14,000, 14 grand. So it's not great. I can see that my transmission is fucked up there in red. Okay, there is a little cheat you can do on the game. If you press one, your car will be repaired automati automatically for free, which I think it's not realistic, so I'm not going to do. So my transmission is fucking up, so I guess I will do one more race and then we'll call it quits for the day. And we'll have to repair the engine, at least the transmission, before we continue. Because the fucked up transmission is cutting up our horsepower a lot. You can see it on the results of the race. I mean, on the, 
100 mile drag at the test track we did almost well we did 11.3 seconds and now we're doing almost 13 seconds that is cutting us back 2 seconds which can make a huge difference believe it or not I know I said I didn't use the repair for free but I do use the reset car well I think there are different things so it's just to cut the time of the video so I don't I don't have to go slowly and avoid the racers <coughs> okay this is a better car mine but let's see who has a better engine okay let's go for some nitrous and yeah he was never ahead of me never ahead of me Okay, transmission really fucked up, engine is already on yellow. This is because the red line of the engine is a little bit above the distraction point. I mean the peak power point. And we did, yes, 12.5 with nitrous, which is one second worse than the test run. Okay, we got $16,000, let's return to garage. Tow car to garage for 26 bucks, that's totally worth it. And, okay. Let's repair the car now. Seven thousand eight hundred thirty-four dollars to repair the car. Do you want to repair it? Yes, of course. Now we have a great chassis. We got a great engine. And let's see. You can see the engine block here. You can see the RPMs of the engine, and it's RPMing over peak power point. So that that is why the engine is getting fucked up while racing but if you lower the RPMs you also lower the performance of the car so it's kind of a pro and cons lower RPM lower engine horsepower but no damage higher RPM higher damage but higher horsepower so I think we'll go with 8000 RPM that's okay and well to finish the episode right now I'm going to... Well, I'm going to finish right, right now. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned in. I will be making the next episode in a short while.